Hi and welcome, I'm Lisa. Thanks for joining me here on the Whimsy Stamps channel for another card making tutorial. In this video, I'm sharing how to use simple masking techniques to create a fun plaid truck and a beachy background for our surfing Santa. Now, some of you may have seen my recent content featuring the Fill a Holiday Truck stamp set. I'm loving this stamp set. Anyway, I did a black and white plaid truck. It's so easy. I'm sharing that technique with you. However, instead of the black and white plaid, I thought it would be fun to do a red, white, gray, and black plaid. I'm using the fill a truck stamp set along with the calm Christmas stamp set to create a fun take on a surfing Santa Christmas card. I'm getting started by stamping the images onto smooth cardstock using an alcohol marker friendly black ink. So I'm stamping images from the Calm Christmas stamp set and I'm stamping that surfboard image from the Fill a Truck stamp set. Now since I've been using the Fill a Holiday Truck stamp set, I have a few leftover images already stamped and cut out. You'll want to stamp the truck and wreath from that set while you're stamping your images. Okay, let's talk about coloring the images quickly. I start with E13, just laying down some dark areas on him. I want him to have a tan, he's out in the sun. And then we'll come in with E11 and start to pull that color up and fill the areas in. There's not a lot to color here, so these are pretty simple. So I did add a little bit of R20 to his face and his belly right over that tan. I feel like he's been sitting in the sun and he has a little bit of that pinky tenderness to him. So go ahead, add that pink. It'll just add a fun little touch. Here I came in with my R29, completely colored the swim trunks and the hat, and then added some shading with N8, and then pulled that out with R59. For the chair, I'm using browns on it. You could use grays if that's something you would rather do. For the fabric on the chair, I just used W5. And for his beard, N2 and N4. So R29 to finish out the other images along with the sign, which I used E31, E34, and E37. So to color the wreath that I'll be using, I used G94 on the outer and inner edges of that wreath on the greenery. And then I came in with G43 to pull that out a little bit and G40 to finish it off. The uh, ribbon R29, N8, and R59, just to color it in, add a little bit of detail, and that wraps up the coloring. So I've stamped the truck from the Fill a Holiday Truck stamp set onto a piece of Avery removable label. You can use any masking paper that you have available. I'm going to fussy cut this out. Notice that while I'm cutting the bumper out, I'm keeping the tail lights intact. It's just easier to work with a big piece of masking paper rather than trying to fiddle around with tiny pieces. So I find just keeping the tail lights, the bumper, and those tires one solid piece works much easier. We're going to cut out the body of the truck. We're going to leave the side mirrors because we want to mask those off as well. And again, it's just easier to work with that solid piece. And then finally, we're going to go ahead and uh, cut out that back window because we need to mask it too. Now I'm ready to mask off areas of the truck, the bumper, tires, tail lights, side mirrors, and that back window. I do want to make sure those areas are completely masked off before I move on to stamping. And I'm going to run my finger along the edges of that masking paper just to make sure that it's firmly in place. Well, one thing I love about using masking paper is that it holds the image in place and I don't have to worry about tape or magnets when I'm stamping. Okay, so I'm actually going to be using the Bendy Borders stamp set for this truck. Uh, in the, on the last truck, I used the micro patterns. Those work great. If you have them, use them. But the Bendy Borders are fun for creating your own plaid, and that's what I'm going to do here. So I'm using this smaller... Uh, striped. It reminds me of a candy cane stripe and that's why I picked it. I'm using Memento Love Letter Ink and I'm just stamping it in one direction and now I'm going back in the other direction to stamp it again. And notice how I'm not being too careful with it. It's, it's a plaid truck. It's supposed to have a very whimsical feel to it. 
So don't get too fussy with the placement of everything. It'll work out fine. I'm taking a fine tip black pen and adding some black stripes in between each of those uh, stamped candy cane stripes. And then we're going to come in with a gray Copic marker and just use our chisel nib and go in the opposite direction of the black stripe we just laid down and lay down this gray stripe. Now I'm telling you at this point I was a little bit nervous I was like I don't know but then when I started revealing it I was like oh this is really kind of cute so I was real happy with the way my truck turned out I think it's super cute on to putting this together I will finish some simple coloring with the image the bumper I used N4 N2 and N0 on the mirrors and that back window, I used BG10, the tires, N4, N2, and N0. And I added a little bit of shading with my N0, as you can see I'm doing here. And then for the side mirrors, the little, what I call arm of the side mirrors, I went ahead and colored that with R29. Okay, so I have a pierced and stitched circle die here. This is the four and three eighths of an inch size plus a die from the Build an Island die set. We're gonna run this through the die cut machine using masking paper. Now I'm gonna use a piece that's five and a half inches by five and a half inches because that's the size of the card base I'm using. So I just center the circle die up on that masking paper, run it through the machine, and then I use the leftover to cut out my palm trees. Now we're gonna use all the pieces of the masking paper that we've die cut, so you wanna hang on to all of it. Go ahead and line the edges of your masking paper up with your card. Make sure that it's firmly in place, pressing down along those edges. And then we're going to take the palm trees and put those back into that circle. Once we have them firmly in place, we're going to bring in an Audrey Blue ink. And I'm also going to add a little bit of Teal Zeal to this. So I'm going to start with a heavy pressure on the outer edges and then lighten the pressure as I move towards the center. And you're going to notice that I'm leaving the very center of the card white. And that just gives it a really nice glow. So once I finish with the Audrey Blue, I decided to come in with a little bit of Teal Zeal just to darken up around the edges a little bit more. Once I'm happy with the way my sky looks, I'm going to grab the rest of the masking paper and it's like a puzzle. We're gonna lay the masking paper in place around the masking paper that was already there. It just makes it easier to line things up if you leave that masking paper in place. Once you have this piece securely in place, you're gonna go ahead and remove the palm trees, and the little island from the center of your die cut circle. You're gonna leave the outer circle masking, you wanna leave that down the whole time you're working. So go ahead, remove the palm trees. We're gonna use some Memento Desert Sand ink for the island and the trunks of the trees. And then we're gonna come in with a willow ink and ink up the uh, tops of our palm trees. When you're doing this, if you get a little bit of that willow or green ink down the trunk of the tree, don't worry about it. It looks fine. Also, when you go to peel your masking paper back, you might have a little bit of area that has some white between your blue sky and your green or brown parts of your tree. It's okay. It just looks like a highlight there. Don't worry about little things like that. We're gonna go ahead and carefully peel this masking paper back on itself. You wanna take your time with this step because it is a little bit damp and you have been pressing down on it. So it's, it's, it's stuck to the paper, so be careful with it. But here's our scene ready to go. I love the way this turned out. It's perfect for our surfing Santa. Now, to stamp my sentiment, this is a quick tip I have for you. Lay your card base in your Misty, close the lid of the Misty, place the same die that you used for masking over your ink blended design. Open the lid of the Misty. Now you taped that die down, so it's not going to go anywhere. Place your stamp about where you want it to be and then lift it with the lid and then just use your die as a guide to work your stamp around your ink blended design. So I'm going to use my VersaFine Onyx Black ink and go ahead and stamp my design. 
I'm using glue and foam adhesives to add my images to my card base. I'm also going to come in with a little detail stamp from the Fadoodle Frame stamp set. I love this stamp just to come in and create a little bit of detail around the edge of my cards. And that's going to wrap us up. Let me know what you think about the card in the comments below. And for more information on the products seen in this video, you can click the links directly below to check them out. Please know how much I appreciate you for spending time with me today. And until next time, please take care.